All right, so this first video we're going to be checking out is called These 15 Maps Hilariously Explain the United States of America. Um, it is uploaded by a channel called Nick Johnson. I'm going to go ahead and hit that like button right now. Um, let's go ahead and see what it, why is it, oh, it's a different language. I was like, why is it spelled weird? But let's go ahead and check and see what this has to offer. Um, I don't know what maps or whatever they're going to pick, so it, I expect to learn something new in this. <laughs> At least I would hope so. But let's see. Maps. They're very good at helping to understand a place, aren't they? You can look at a map of the United States, but it isn't really helpful in understanding what it's really like in each state. We need to look at different maps to see what it's really like in oh, the United boy. States, right? Remember I was talking about this earlier, how I don't see how people could have functioned before GPSs and stuff were a thing. If these are the maps people had to buy back in the day if you wanted to like take a trip somewhere. So you can get a good idea for like where the main roads were and usually they'd have like a local map in like a gas station where you get like the the smaller roads i don't see how people could have done that i, I could not have done it i couldn't have it's it's crazy so we're gonna look at a bunch of different shout out to all of you people that were driving before there gps was are a thing hilarious maps that explain and map quest i'm not i'm talking about no gps maps. systems whatsoever <laughs> Maps, maps. <laughs> I guess that's his uh. Maps. His intro. About America. Ah, here we are in the state of Wisconsin. Now, if you know anything about American culture, you know there's a stereotype that people in this part of the country drink a lot of booze. We're gonna begin with a look at a map which shows if this is true or not. Check this out. This map shows where there's Here's more bars grocery or grocery stores in the U.S., depending on where you're Bars versus grocery stores. Red dots stores. are areas where there's more bars than grocery stores. The yellow dots show where there's more grocery stores than bars. And look at that. Wisconsin, North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming, and Illinois have more bars than grocery stores. So does upstate New York. Look wow. at the deep south. <laughs> Hardly any bars, just all grocery stores. That goes along with the theory that it's deeply religious in the deep south. There's not as many bars. Cool, huh? Yeah, I, I couldn't do the paper one. map thing. Joey? I don't know how y'all could have done it. That's, meth labs per that's county. crazy to me. <laughs> I'm from this county over here. Oh, like okay. the biggest meth lab square in the country. <laughs> this place right here in Oklahoma is just black. <laughs> Actually, there's a couple of them. There's one right here. There's one right here. Um, yeah, I, it's just black. So it's just that, that area is nothing but meth labs. Look at all those meth labs. I'm so proud. Over a thousand meth coast. labs. That makes wow. Sense. I think meth labs were invented in Oregon or California, out there somewhere. But a lot of them look like they're in the middle of the country, surrounding St. Louis. Why are they all right there? Well, in Missouri, there's a saying, minding one's own business often goes with the territory. There's a lot of poverty in Missouri, and some people make meth as a way to supplement their income or as a performance enhancer. It's all very sad and very scary. If you live in a meth lab county, comment. Let us know what's up. Look at this map. It shows where all the different races in America are. The green is Hispanic and the orange is black folks. The light blue are Native Americans. The dark blue is where Asians are, like here in San Francisco. The white areas are where it's mostly white. And as you can see, it's a very divided country. A lot of us live in regions that are similar to us racially. New Mexico has the nation's highest Hispanic population as a percentage of its population. 48% of New Mexico is Hispanic. Alternatively, Mississippi is 37% African-American, making it the state with the highest percentage of black residents. Up here in Vermont, it's 94% white. Interesting. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's funny enough, when you look at a map like this, it really like shoots in the foot this whole argument that people tend to have about like, oh, well, slavery happened at this particular time. Uh, it doesn't really affect us today, so why do you let it uh, hang on you like that like this badly for this long it's like look at this map this map is a direct reflection from slavery from before the mexican-american war before all that like all the the demographics and stuff still reflect that period in time like the fact that something like this doesn't change over almost 200 years should let you know that what happened then still impacts us to this day. And you can look at a map like this and see that our demographics are still 
reflected based on that stuff. So, ninety four percent white. Interesting. <laughs> oh my God! Here's a map that shows who the highest paid public employee is in each state. Almost mm. every single one's a football or basketball coach at some big college. That's just sad. In New Hampshire, <laughs> That's just a hockey sad. coach. How much does a hockey coach make in New Hampshire? You might ask. At the time, it was a guy named Dick Umali who got paid two hundred and forty-two thousand a year. In That's not really a lot, the... but I did see this. Um, Rhode Island. What state is this? I, I I don't. Just looking at the states, I don't know all the states off the top of my head, which is tragic. I definitely need to get better at that. I admit that, but. This state right here is a woman's basketball coach. What woman's? I I think like there's like Pat Summit, but she I think she passed away a while ago. I don't know I don't know when this chart was made though, but I can't think of a woman's bath. She have to be a college coach. She'd have to be a, a woman's college coach. How much does a hockey coach make in New Hampshire? You might ask. At the time, it was a guy named Dick Umali who got paid two hundred and forty-two thousand a year in twenty fourteen. The president of the school only made three hundred and eighty-five k, so Dick must have been a good coach. Mm. And going back to nineteen ninety, he never won a national title in twenty-eight seasons. Damn, son. This map shows that more people search for lesbian porn in Arkansas than in any other state. That's weird. Here's a map that shows the fattest oh, state. Okay. So, nasty Google searches by state. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaii literally just searches up Hawaii. Let <laughs> me just see Hawaii. <laughs> Gosh, Asian. <laughs> the the Shmentai. Uh, something's going on in West Virginia. <laughs> wow. That's weird. <laughs> Here's a map that shows what is an, the fattest country. Anita Queen. I never heard Dark that term before. Is more obese. I'm afraid to search it for else. obvious there reasons. There we go. Thirty-seven percent of Americans are overweight. We're the twelfth fattest nation overall. Only a bunch of small South Pacific nations have a greater the population. Twelfth fat ass Pacific nation. Citizens. Look at this. Going back to 1960, only thirteen percent of U.S. adults were overweight. We need to diet for sure. People. Jumped up in the 80s. Vietnam's the skinniest nation overall. Only 2% are overweight there. But China has like zero overweight people too. Africa hardly has any, except the rich African countries. That's kind of what happens when you're starving. I want to move to the country at the top. To Greenland? Yeah, no one's fat there. I fit right in. <laughs> yeah, you go there, Karen. Go to Greenland, please. I saw a chart that had Greenland on it, and it was like a chart about like suicides by like rape. And like they had all the countries listed, but then Suez, uh, but then Greenland was just black, and it was like ninety nine percent or something like that. And I was, I was wondering like, okay, what is the joke? Because it was, it was a, it was one of those like memes. I was like, if you know, you know. But the thing is, I didn't. But nobody really explained it. I was like, what the hell happened in Greenland, where like ninety plus percent of the people there committed suicide? I don't, like I'm, I'm, I don't know. Right in. Yeah, you go there, Karen. Go to Greenland, please. Hey, this is neat. Here's an interactive one that shows how fast Walmart grew beginning in 1962. It was all in Arkansas. There's more than 11,000 Walmarts now. Mm. Look at it. It's like a germ spreading all over the country. <laughs> a virus. Oh, run. It's Walmart. <laughs> JK Walmart. Don't sue me. Wow. But how many Walmarts does one nation need anyways? My God. My God. Roll back. Okay, so See, I'm tripping. I was looking at openings thinking that was like how many stores it was. The most overweight nation it. on earth. We're also number one in prisons per capita. It's not even really close. Yeah. We have 4% of the world's population, but we have 22% of the world's prisoners. That's because we privatize our prisons. Like we're letting everybody out like now. They're turning into a business. like this, and we're all going to die. Russia locks a lot of people mm -hmm. up too. North Korea doesn't have a lot of people locked up. I guess they just probably don't mess around there. This country down here is Thailand, where they apparently don't mess <laughs> around I don't think they really either. classify it don't as locking people up. Don't go to Thailand and cause any mischief. I guess they have some really <laughs> they strict did it to themselves. You can go to prison for a long time just for having a joint on you. 
They even have the death penalty for What's drugs. What's up, yo, Kayla? Thailand? What the, what the? That's not COVID spreading. The orange color is where half <laughs> the country's wealth is, and the blue is the other half. Half the country's wealth is in these few little orange areas. Like, this one's Minneapolis, and I'm guessing that one is St. Louis. That's Charlotte, and that looks like Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has money. There's a big mm. gap between the rich and poor in this country, and that gap is widening. Yep. The middle class is shrinking at an alarming rate. Yep. In 1970, the middle class had almost two-thirds of the total U.S. income. Now the upper class has more money, and the poor are even poorer. Yep. Here's a visual representation of how the rich keep getting richer in America, people. Yep. Ooh, this map shows how big Alaska is. At the risk of sounding preachy and stuff like that, the reason why the middle class keeps shrinking and the uh, upper class keeps getting higher and higher is because we keep hiring politicians or keep electing politicians that do everything they can to get as much money out of the pockets of the average person and into the pockets of the rich and elite. Now what we need to do is we need to start electing people that actually care about what we want, but because it's more convenient to vote for someone just based on what party they represent as opposed to their own political um, positions and principles and stuff. We keep electing these people that go in office and have no intentions of changing the current system. They're looking to get a bunch of people in office that, uh, or not get a bunch of people in office, but they're looking to appease donors and lobbyists and stuff like that because they, they get paid from it too. If we can get rid of that or if we can make it illegal to have corporations donate like certain amounts of money to politicians make it illegal so that if you see a politician accepting this much money whether it's through super PACs or whatever else it's an illegal offense then maybe we start to see the middle class start to expand more because then politicians wouldn't be catering towards lobbyists and donors they'd be catering towards the people that keep them in power which would be the average person in America, people. There's a reason why the expansion Ooh, happened at a particular this map shows time. how big Alaska really is. If you added all of Alaska up, it would take up all these pink states. So if you're in Maine or you're in Florida or in Tennessee, you'd still be in Alaska. Just wow. So impressive, Alaska. So impressive. Mm -hmm. Guess which country gives new moms no paid leave? We don't. And so do a handful mm -hmm. of other countries, some of which you may not have even heard of before. Why don't we have a paid leave system for new moms here in the USA? I mean, 82% of people here say they want it. And it's pretty clear in a lot of the hoods I drive to, these kids need their parents around as much as they can get. Yep, but Back again, politicians. More than $200 billion to give people 12 weeks. Lobbyists, of politicians. Or paternity leave. They keep stuff like that from happening. Yet. Apparently, after World War II, Europe started the whole paid maternity leave thing because they needed parents to have lots of kids because their country got demolished in the war. And here, we didn't have to worry about that. Plus, we couldn't be a communist nation back then, so we just never got around to paying moms to stay home with their newborns. Plus, get this. This is messed up. Back in the 50s and 60s, there was an idea that if you had paid leave, it would encourage the wrong people to reproduce, meaning blacks. No. Seriously, it says it right here in this BBC article. I wish my mom had paid leave. Juan, I've seen your family. We'd be broke. This is fun. This map shows how Americans address a group of people. Mm -hmm. It's y'all in the South. For most of us, it's you guys. Why isn't there a use for Pennsylvania? Isn't that a mm -hmm. thing? Here's a I still say y'all. I grew up not a majority of my life in the South, but I'd say from when I was, I'd say two to about eight, I was, uh, I grew up in the South. So to this day, I still say y'all. Um, in Ohio, whenever people are talking about like carbonated drinks, they say pop. To this day, I still find pop to be a weird ass term that I don't use. I say soda, which is what we said growing up in Louisiana and North Carolina. We say soda. <laughs> I never understood pop. Made no sense to me whatsoever. U.S. map that shows where no one lives. The green is where nobody lives. A lot of the West is still wild, mister. In Alaska, there's hardly anybody. 
I'm sure a lot of people are looking at this map going, I'm heading for green. Is there a house in there for me? <laughs> green sounds good right about now, doesn't it? Peaceful, quiet, cheap, no BS. I hear you, peeps. I hear you. Here's a look at the happiest states in the country. Happiest states or in the country. Or at least people who say they're happy. A lot of the Mountain West and Upper Midwest says they're happy. This whole area down here says they are not happy. Those also happen to be most of the poorest states, too. Yep. Except for New Mexico. I guess that shows in America, if you don't have a lot of money, you aren't happy. And that's just sad. Why is Texas so happy? <laughs> okay, so here's where all the McDonald's are in the U.S. No wow. wonder we're all so fat. There's 14,000 McDonald's here. It's said that every American is no further than 115 miles from the McDonald's. Where's that other map we saw earlier? Yep, there we are. But it's okay. We're <laughs> happy, right? You know what gerrymandering is, don't you? Where lawmakers... See, again, yeah, this is gerrymandering. This is when they intentionally, like, draw up districts so that they could manipulate the vote and try to... I mean, usually it's always done against people in urban areas to try to split them up so that the more rural areas tend to win, which is why you tend to see a lot of... Uh, Places that that have big like cities, but is surrounded by a lot of rural areas, which is why you see like conservative people tend to win in those a lot because the cities get split up into the rural areas a lot, and they intentionally do it with the express purpose of trying to prevent people from from a, a certain side from winning. This needs to be illegal. This needs to be a hundred percent illegal. To redraw voting maps to favor one party. Well, check out the 4th District in Chicago. This weird-shaped pink district is all Latinos. That weirdly drawn map will have one representative in Congress who will likely be Latino. If that doesn't drive home how corrupt and stacked the political system is in America, then I don't know how to better show it. This one's very insightful. Someone did some Google mining to see what odd search terms appeared from different states. This is basically a look at what each state's interested in by looking at their popular search terms. I guess they did it during the quarantine of 2020. All right, let's see what the weirdest ones are. How to roll sushi, library cards, uh, cool Zoom backgrounds, pizza delivery, going vegan, going vegan. Delete Facebook. <laughs> hey, Idaho is smart. Uh, Dr. Pepper shortage. Staycation, day drinking, how to stop drinking. <laughs> Just two opposites on these two states. Hot wings, webcams, they're under 65 days. Is that like a movie or a show or some shit? I don't know. Um, how to move to Canada. <laughs> Mike's Hard Lemonade, Cross Stitch. Just chicken nuggets. Just random chicken nuggets. Don't ask how to get them. Don't ask like what store you want to buy them from. Just chicken nuggets. Just in general. Having trouble sleeping. How often should you wash your hair? Really? For those of you wondering, you should wash your hair between two to three times a week. Um, if you're black, I think they say two times a week. Uh, let's see, Little Debbie Cakes. Meth recipes. <laughs> I love the fact that somebody's searching that. Like they ain't gonna immediately get put on a list <laughs> How do you commit identity fraud? <laughs> Stock tank pools, um, box wine, Bloody Mary, McDonald's value menu. See, that's something that's worth searching up. Uh, vodka pops, barbecue, again, worth searching. Cracker barrel alcohol, vaping pen. How to become a YouTuber? That's a hell of a good uh, thing. Uh, making. Can of butter? It's not. What the hell is can of butter? How to dye your hair blonde at home? I quit smoking. Again, great search. Chick fil A. Chick fil A is delicious. How to sleep at work? Really? Isn't Florida the state where most people go to to retire? Like, you're already not working. You can't even do that. Like, what? Faroes. Don't know what Faroes is. How to get a cruise refund. <laughs> I guess like these are people that like schedule to get cruises, but then the quarantine happened. 
So they weren't able to do it, so now they're trying to get refunds for it. Grilled cheese, just general grilled cheese. Um, for those that play Sims, I can imagine this being an act. Like, if The Sims was to do a, 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 a chart like this, grilled cheese would be somewhere on it. Why are my plants dying? Quarantine 15. Uh, sourdough starter. Um, Chinese delivery. Was this state Connecticut? This might have been Connecticut. Uh, dog adoption. Virtual interview. Hammock smoothie. Virtual book club. That could be interesting. Uh, DUI patio. And build a chicken coop. Build a chicken coop in Maine? Didn't expect Maine to like need to know how to make chicken coops. Some very productive searches, but also some shit that's just like scratching your head. A lot of it involves alcohol. New Mexico wants day drink. Minnesota wants boxed wine. Wisconsin wants Bloody Marys. Tennessee wants to drink at Cracker Barrel. Mississippi wants vodka pops. In Wyoming, they want to stop drinking, I guess. West Maybe Virginia that's why white people's smoking. shampoo is so cheap. Michigan people make a lot of pot. You can get some head and shoulders, pay like a Down couple Louisiana, bucks for. Louisiana, they want to know how often they should bathe. Okay, black shampoo is like in Maine, twelve dollars. A bunch of chicken coops. What's up with Florida? Are they lazy or what? Delete Facebook. Idaho has had enough of Facebook. So have I, Idaho. So have I. Here's the most recognizable brand in each state. <laughs> Look at Florida. <laughs> Texas is known for Dr Pepper. I thought it would be Wrangler or something. What is it known for? Is it known for or is it just the more, like, this one is kind of weird for me. I don't know if it's saying, like, these are the most famous brands from that state or if these are just the most recognizable brands in that state at the time. Like, like for example, maybe there's a popular product or a popular brand, but it's not from that state. That's what I'm wondering. Um, I know Ohio is Wendy's. Because, you know, Wendy's was founded here. Wendy's is delicious. Um, I know Walmart came from there. So may maybe. Maybe it is. I don't know. Starbucks in Washington makes sense. Harley Davidson in Wisconsin. Coors in Colorado. Budweiser in Missouri. Walmart in Arkansas. Okay, okay. What is Sinclair? Looks like a Does gas AOL station. Does AOL still exist? Why is Virginia AOL? South Carolina is known for Denny's. Do they make washing machines in Iowa or something? Where's Carhartt? I don't get it. Wait, Saks, Alabama? Oh shit, Saks Fifth Avenue was founded in Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Okay, so here's all the countries Apple that have the death penalty. Country. Of course, we're on here. All of Europe and Canada and Mexico don't have the death penalty. I don't know why we even have it anymore. Clearly it doesn't work. Look around. Our criminals aren't afraid to die. This map shows mm -hmm. where there's more single people based on gender. Apparently, there's way more single. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this paused here for those of you that are wondering. <laughs> for those of you that are looking, uh, apparently these are the places where the most single people tend to stay at. So, if you're looking to come to America, or for those of you that are already in America, this is this is a and you have to be single. This is the chart you probably want to check out. Men in California and way more single women in the Northeast. Is that because there's a lot of gay people in California? And guys in the Northeast are... Seems like the more West you get, the more men just there are that are single people. compared to women. Comment below and let me know what you think about this one. Snow day! Here we can see the amount of snow it takes to cancel school by county. In the far north, it takes like two feet of snow before they cancel school. Yeah. <laughs> Down in most of the whole south, any snow cancels school. They probably never cancel school for snow in Alaska. Yeah. They wouldn't have... I mean, that's obviously... The reason why the south cancels schools and stuff like that for uh, any type of snow is because they don't really have the infrastructure built for it. So it's like, as soon as they uh, have any snow, it's like they don't have any salt on the roads. They don't have anything like that. So any type of snow is going to cause you to slip and slide and all types of stuff. It's crazy. School. <laughs> they probably never cancel school for snow in Alaska. Yeah, I imagine wouldn't Alaska have school has... Here's what people they Google don't cancel at all. the most. Why is a state so... Why is California so expensive? Everybody wants to know. Everyone wants to know, why is Utah so Mormon? Why is Massachusetts so smart? I didn't know they were that smart. I know the reason why Ohio is listed is like why Ohio is so important is it probably has something to do with elections. 
because Ohio is usually worth a lot of electoral votes. So, and it's also a swing state. It's not guaranteed it's going to go Democrat. It's not guaranteed it's going to go Republican. So it really depends on, I guess, the election or whatever. But that's the reason why it's probably listed as most important. Why is Louisiana so racist? Oh, man. Why is Arkansas so poor? Why is Ohio so important? If you're asking why your state is so expensive, is it's probably so because cheap? a lot of people live That's there. That's a question I ask every day, because this is a great state. It's all about supply and demand. So cheap for too more much people money, live in that please. state, the more expensive it's going to get. Ooh, this is crazy. Here's a map of every tornado in the last 50 years. Hmm. Clearly, they don't like mountains. I hate tornadoes. I mean, they're fun to see from across a cornfield, but not so fun at night when you're hmm. home alone. Yeah, it's the probability uh, of upward mobility in America. Mountain areas tend to do in the middle of the country. You have a thirty-five percent chance of tornadoes. upward mobility. That's still not a lot. In the deep south, you have a four percent chance of upward mobility. Well, that sucks. There's hmm. different ways of talking based on where you live in the U.S. Of course, there's certain dialects and accents. This map crayon, shows how people say the word crayon or crayon Cran. or crown. Brown. People in New York are like crayon, all proper. Crayon. Wisconsin people are like crayon. Yeah, I say crayon. crayon. Most of the country says crayon, I guess. Yeah, I say crayon. So on Craigslist, there's this even though, board called Mist. Con even though I didn't grow up in any of the areas that say crayon. Like, I grew up in, like I said, North Carolina, Louisiana, and Ohio. I've always said crayon. I've never said crayon. I never... It says crayon, I guess. Oh, that's weird. So on Craigslist, there's this message board called Missed Connections. You can post an anonymous note that's like, I saw you walking by at the Independence Mall. You were wearing a pink coat. I wanted to talk to you so badly, but I had my wife with me. Let's talk. It seems weird. So you can basically stalk the person, I guess. If they were yeah, it seems kind of weird. It's for people who were too scared to just walk right up and talk to somebody. And they make up some excuse that they were distracted or the timing wasn't right. Yeah, like I'm, not, I'm not into that. We shared a <laughs> smile at the checkout. Yours was so sweet. After checkout, our trucks were parked almost side by it side. It seems kind of creepy. I said to myself, I hope she looks back when she's leaving. You did, and you smiled again. I hope you see this. I was the blue-eyed guy in the camo vest. <laughs> this is so desperate. Here's another one. Eye contact. Kept bumping into each other. <laughs> this is just so stocky and weird. Yeah. So anyway, somebody crawled Craigslist to get a database map of the most common places in each state where somebody said they had a missed connection. Here's the map. Okay, apparently in California, most people stalk each other at the 24-hour fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the Walmarts. It's like 20 states. Yeah. I fell in love with you at Walmart. I saw you at the Walmart self-check. You had trouble with the scanner. We should date. <laughs> so dumb. Look at McDonald's. Of course, in New York, it's on the subway. In Hawaii, it's at the beach. I thought they meant the it's subway restaurant. <laughs> Anyways, look at your state and see where people are stalking one another. At home? What's going on in Indiana? I saw you at the home. Car? <laughs> That's just so weird. I don't even want to go there. saw so you at home? What? I can't believe I'm doing this, <laughs> but there was a guy behind me at Wegmans today. Wow. I wanted to say something. I saw you at I home. I out. If this sounds familiar. That's kind of red what flag, kind of David. you had on and what kind of cookies you were buying. I should answer. You say crowns. Red shirt That's and funny. Oreos. Let's do this. <laughs> Dumb. Mm. This is like the new gossip mag in town, but it's like totally anonymous. Lost love stories for people who can't just let it go. Do people go to Craigslist and see if somebody's fitness? looking for them? Dear Fanny Pack Girl, I saw you in the produce aisle at Kroger. If it was a guy, you should judge any dude that goes to Planet jacket. Fitness. I know you saw me. You're my grocery store. True love. <laughs> I tell them to get into a real gym. Maybe people do that because they're insecure. Mappy, I think you're Ladies insecure. have an excuse to use in Planet fact, Fitness. I saw a misconnection from Dude you. Dude should not be using Planet Fitness. I saw you at the library yesterday. I was the map with the book about geography. Let's make an atlas together. <laughs> Mappy, that is so stupid. I'm going to tell your wife. <laughs> okay, so that's a unique look at America through interesting maps. You know, you can drive around this country and cover every county and still never really understand this place like you can when you look at data. Hopefully, you learned something. Yes. Yeah, now get out there and find that missed connection. Listen. I'm sure they're just waiting for you to find them. Not stalker. Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. 
You can get my email in the description. Okay, I'll go ahead and stop it right here. Um, Rose, if you want to keep people from stalking you, what you do is you take like a long cucumber or something and you like put it in your pants. And then as soon as a person like approaches you, be like, hey, what's up, baby? Let me get your number. You just turn around, I'm like, oh, sure. And just like put it on display and and then see what happens. See what happens after that. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes down. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but we do have one more video after this. And then uh, I'll probably take another break. And after that break, then we'll be jumping into the gameplay. Which will be, um, again, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Shredder's Revenge. Which I'm looking forward to jumping into as Casey Jones to see just how OP he actually is. But anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump to the next one.